The outlook for the future of the Volkswagen Group is good. Our core product, the automobile, is and remains a key economic and technological pace setter. It continues to create innovation, growth, and prosperity in numerous regions the world over. And it keeps society mobile. At the same time, the car is undergoing a fundamental transformation towards electric mobility to digitally connected and in the long term to autonomous driving. All that makes our product even more technologically sophisticated and demanding, and it lends it new qualities. The car will be cleaner, much safer, and much more comfortable than it is today. And what's more, it will remain emotional and fascinating. Strong and aspirational brands will still be vital in the future for the purchase decision that our customers make for a car. We at Volkswagen believe this transformation harbors a huge opportunity, and we intend to seize these opportunities with a very clear plan for zero emission driving, for connecting and digitizing our vehicles, and for new services. We are more resolved than our competition in shaping the future and driving the change. The foundation for all this is a successful and robust business. For the Volkswagen Group, 2018 was a good year with new all-time highs in our operating activities and it was a year in which we took some important strategic decisions. For fiscal 2018, however, we must say that the diesel crisis was part of things once again. It is and remains a major watershed. So far, it has cost us some 30 billion euros, yet the crisis also marked the beginning of our group's fundamental realignment in terms of technology, personnel, and our culture. We have a sound foundation as we head into the future with 12 strong brands for all segments and customer wishes, with a network of developers and experts who, day in, day out, turn in top-notch technological performance with the motivated employees at our plants and with the sales team that is, is at home in all regions of the world and not know, only know our customers, but also take them seriously. And this is why in 2018 we developed better than the competition did. 10.8 million vehicles were delivered to customers in fiscal 18. Our brands launched more than 70 new models. Our sales revenue rose by 2.7% to 236 billion euros. We grew our profit before special items to 17.1 billion euros, and our return on sales was 7.3%, which is, was at the upper, rain, upper end of our target range. And that makes us one of the few automotive companies that was able to meet its annual forecasts. So the bottom line is that we improved our group's earnings after tax to 12.2 billion euros. The Board of Management and the Supervisory Board therefore proposed to the AGM an increase in the dividend, 4 euros and 80 cents per ordinary share and 4 euros and 86 cents per preferred share, which means that we intend to distribute a total of 2.4 billion euros to you, which is a payout ratio of 20.4%. Our stock price last year followed the decreasing market trend. The peak for the ordinary share was 188 euros, and the preferred share peaked at 188 euros and 50 cents. Currently, the ordinary share price is 150 euros and 30 cents, and the preferred share is at 148 euros and 60 cents. As a result, our conviction is that your company is still undervalued. We see there's plenty of potential to increase the company's valuation, and we intend to leverage that potential step by step. Ladies and gentlemen, 2018 was characterized by new regulatory requirements, including more demanding 
test cycles. In addition to that, we faced growing geopolitical uncertainty, such as in China or in the UK. And nevertheless, our business proved to be robust and resilient. This success was achieved by our brands and regions thanks to a strong team effort. They're all working to make the group more viable for the future and to enhance its performance. In nearly all areas, we were able to achieve improvements. And I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate our teams on that. Yeah, Finley.